Calendula officinalis, Wikipedia article audio. Calendula officinalis, the pot marigold, ruddles, common marigold, or scotch marigold, is a plant in the genus Calendula of the family Asteraceae. It is probably native to southern Europe, though its long history of cultivation makes its precise origin unknown, and it may possibly be of garden origin. It is also widely naturalized further north in Europe and elsewhere in warm temperate regions of the world. The Latin specific epithet officinalis refers to the plant's medical and herbal uses. Description Cultivation Calendula officinalis is a short-lived aromatic herbaceous perennial, growing to 80 cm tall, with sparsely branched lax or erect stems. The leaves are oblong lanceolate, 517 cm long, hairy on both sides, and with margins entire or occasionally waved or weakly toothed. The inflorescences are yellow comprising a thick capitulum or flory at 4-7 cm diameter surrounded by two rows of hairy bracts, in the wild plant they have a single ring of ray florets surrounding the central disc florets. The disc florets are tubular and hermaphrodite, and generally of a more intense orange-yellow color than the female, tridentate, peripheral ray florets. The flowers may appear all year long where conditions are suitable. The fruit is a thorny curved akene. Calendulas are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species including cabbage moth, gothic moth, large yellow underwing, and cetaceous Hebrew character. Calendula officinalis is widely cultivated and can be grown easily in sunny locations in most kinds of soils. Although perennial, it is commonly treated as an annual, particularly in colder regions where its winter survival is poor and in hot summer locations where it also does not survive. Calendulas are considered by many gardening experts as among the easiest and most versatile flowers to grow in a garden, especially because they tolerate most soils. In temperate climates, seeds are sown in spring for blooms that last throughout the summer and well into the fall. In areas of limited winter freezing, seeds are sown in autumn for winter color. Plants will wither in subtropical summer. Seeds will germinate freely in sunny or half-sunny locations, but plants do best if planted in sunny locations with rich, well-drained soil. Pot marigolds typically bloom quickly from seed in bright yellows, golds, and oranges. Leaves are spirally arranged, 518 cm long, simple, and slightly hairy. The flower heads range from pastel yellow to deep orange, and are 3-7 cm across, with both ray florets and disc florets. Most cultivars have a spicy aroma. It is recommended to deadhead the plants regularly to maintain even blossom production. Cultivars Numerous cultivars have been selected for variation in the flowers, from pale yellow to orange red, and with double floriads with ray florets replacing some or all of the disc florets. Examples include Alpha, Jane Harmony, Sun Glow, Lemon, Orange Prince, Indian Prince, Pink Surprise, and Chrysantha. Variegata is a cultivar with yellow variegated leaves. The cultivar group Fiesta Hitana has gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Uses Pot marigold florets are edible. They are often used to add color to salads or added to dishes as a garnish and in lieu of saffron. The leaves are edible but are often not palatable. They have a history of use as a pot herb and in salads. Flowers were used in ancient Greek, Roman, Middle Eastern, and Indian cultures as a medicinal herb as well as a dye for fabrics, foods, 
and cosmetics. Many of these uses persist today. They are also used to make oil that protects the skin. Marigold leaves can also be made into a poultice that helps scratches and shallow cuts to heal faster, they also when made into a poultice can help prevent infection. Constituents The petals and pollen of Calendula officinalis contain triterpenoid esters and the carotenoids flavoxanthin and oroxanthin. The leaves and stems contain other carotenoids, mostly lutein, zeaxanthin, and beta-carotene. Plant extracts are also widely used by cosmetics, presumably due to presence of compounds such as saponins, resins, and essential oils. Potential Pharmacology The flowers of Calendula officinalis contain flavonol glycosides, triterpene oligoglycosides, oleanone type triterpene glycosides, saponins, and a sesquiterpene glucoside. Plant pharmacological studies have suggested that calendula extracts may have antiviral, antigenotoxic, and anti-inflammatory properties in vitro. In an in vitro assay, the methanol extract of C. officinalis exhibited antibacterial activity and both the methanol and the ethanol extracts showed antifungal activities. Along with horsetails, pot marigold is one of the few plants which is considered astringent despite not being high in tannins. <laughs>